Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another interview series and welcome after one month of vacation and time off to myself. And my first guest, guest today is Jason Lauritsen from Nebraska. Hi, Jason. How are you doing? I am great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So Jason is transforming manager management as a keynote speaker, trainer, and author. He liberates managers from outdated and inhuman practices so they can cultivate human potential at work and improve people's lives. Jason's advice and teachings are informed by decades of experience as an entrepreneur, corporate executive, and employee engagement researcher. His insights have been described as a secret weapon, which we're going to talk about, by leaders who strive to create a more engaging and human work experience for their people. Uh, his experience ranges from startup CEO to Fortune 1000 executives. He also spent several years leading the best places to work from, from an HR technology company, where he gained deep insight into some of the best workplaces in the world. So Jason, my first question for you is in terms of employee engagement, we know that before COVID, employee engagement was very important. But I feel that with COVID and people working from home, that has changed. And now companies have to deal with hybrid workers. Now that we're coming back to office, there are going to be two kinds of people, people in the office and people at hybrid. So what can uh, companies, employers do in your experience to have a very uh, high employee engagement? You know, I, it's, a, it's a great question here because I think a lot of people are struggling about this. It feels very different. It yes. feels like we're living in this entirely new world, but the, my simple answer is that the fundamentals of employee engagement really haven't changed. Mm -hmm. um, the, the key has, has always been, and it continues to be, that we have to be in a better relationship with our people. We have to know what's going on with them. We have to be sort of having those conversations. And so broadly, what I would say is the thing you have to be doing, the way that I sort of sum it up, is you've got to be in a regular habit of checking in with your people. Mm -hmm. yes. You've got to know, you know, like what what do you what's going well, what's not going well, what do you need, what are you struggling with, mm -hmm. how can I help? Right, those are the kinds of things. So that can be managers checking in with people. It can be the organization checking in, whether that be through surveys or others. But but I, I'm always amazed by. And I continue to this day to have these conversations where, you know, it'll be a group of leaders or a leader asking me a question like this, like, what do we need to do? Like, how do we, how can we figure out how to make the, the hybrid experience more engaging for people? And I'm like, well, did you ask your people like what they want? What they want, like, did you did you ask them? And oftentimes it's just crickets, right? They haven't even, it didn't even occur to them to just go talk to people. Yeah. And I think that is that's that's always at the end of the day where it starts, because there's so many other things we could talk about. Yeah. But if you're not having conversations with your people, if you're not checking in with them regular to, regularly to see what's happening, mm -hmm. then then you're not even doing the fundamentals. So just start mm -hmm. there that and it doesn't matter if they're in person or remote or hybrid. You've got to be in regular conversation so you know what's happening. Yeah. But you also mentioned that doing surveys. A lot of time companies do surveys and they hear their employees, what do they want, but do they but they do not implement and also that discourage employees that I heard what I want, but nothing is happening. So why should I stay here? So what do you tell about that? Well, I mean, I think that the key with a survey has always been that. If, if you're a, you know, if you're a leader or an HR leader in an organization, you're considering doing a survey. Um, the, the key is if you're going to ask the question, you have to be committed to taking some kind of action. Yes. And the action can be, you know, hey, we heard you. We, we can't take that action or we can't, you know, do this thing because of these reasons. That's fine. That happens sometimes, but you're at least validating it. Yeah. The worst thing you can do is ask and not do anything. 
So there's number one is ask and take action. That's ideally how you do this. That's the check-in and that's closing the loop and building a relationship. The second best thing is don't ask at all. If you're not Mm going to take action, don't ask because Mm -hmm. when you ask and don't take action, you actually take somebody who might be moderately engaged and move them backwards because now you've demonstrated that you don't even care. You're just pretending to care. So don't do that. That is for sure the case. And if you're an employee, the employee side of that equation, which I think you hint, were hinting at a little bit, is like, as an employee, I think you have to, you know, I think it's always best to, to be as truthful as you can, to provide yeah. as much input as you can, but you also got to be smart, right? Like in your mm-hmm. open-ended responses, this is not a place to put your manager on blast, this yeah. is not a place to put your coworkers on blast. This is not a place to go with like, you know, with a flamethrower of feedback. It's a place to offer constructive criticism or yeah. constructive advice. That's great. Be honest, because if you don't, if you're not honest, things won't get better. No promise that it will. But um, but just be careful. Don't be don't be don't be silly and get yeah. yourself in trouble. Yeah, those are great tips, Jason. Thank you very much. So for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And if this is your first time, I'm going to ask Jason a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So kind of a journey with us the whole week. So you can like, share, make comments. So tune in next time for another great question with Jason.